Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a couple of devotions for you today. Um, and one is called The Divine Fire. And it's from Ezekiel eleven nineteen, And it says, I will give them a new heart and a new mind. This is when a person comes in contact with the living God, he or she can never be the same again how many of you know that that's true i could testify to that since i came in contact with god since i went to my knees in 1980 and accepted jesus as lord and savior i have never been the same this divine fire either either draws or it drives it saves or it destroys it helps or it hinders if accepted and it and utilized it becomes a boon and a blessing if you reject it it becomes a bane and a curse one dying thief was drawn to the warmth of the savior he responded in faith and he was saved the other dying thief turned away and rejected god's compassion and he was lost forever God takes the weak and makes them strong. He takes the vile and makes them clean. He takes the worthless and makes them worthwhile. He takes the sinful and he makes them pure. With this in mind, Ezekiel said, Thus saith the Lord, I will give them a new heart and a new mind. I will take away their stubborn heart of stone and I will give them an obedient heart. No, you will never be the same once you know Christ. What difference will he make in your life today? And some hope for today is, um, which thief on the cross are you? One doubts and cries out, if you were the son of God, would you get me out of this trial? And the other confesses, only the son of God would enter this trial with me very very powerful devotion and this one's called an attitude of gratitude and it's from colossians 3:15, and it says let the peace of christ rule in your hearts and be thankful thankfulness isn't our usual response when something goes wrong we may have a hundred good things for which we could be thankful for but let one bad thing happen and it's all that we can think about. But the Bible says in everything, give thanks. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, no matter what happens, we are to give thanks. Cultivate a spirit of thanksgiving in your life. The main word here is to cultivate, which is something that we have to do ourselves through habit, to cultivate something is to nurture it until it becomes itself so yeah that main word in this sentence is to cultivate so you have to set the tone for it in order for it to take root because that's not going to be done for you that's something that you have to initiate um, <clears throat> so no matter what happens we ought to give thanks and to cultivate a spirit of thanksgiving in your life this is probably why it's hard to, it doesn't happen because we just think that God's going to bless us with, with the spirit of that. And, and we have to assist the Holy Spirit and, and to bring that into fruition. Thank God for every blessing that he gives you. Thank him for Christ and for what he has done for you. Even when things go wrong, thank him that they aren't worse and you are still in his hands. Having an attitude of thankfulness in all of life's circumstances will help you react as old Matthew Henry did when he was mugged. And this is what he wrote. He said in his diary, let me be thankful first because I was never robbed before. And second, he said, although they took my purse, they didn't take my life. And third, because although they took it, 
they took my all, it wasn't very much. And fourth, because it was because it was I who was robbed, not I who robbed. <laughs> so he was thankful that he wasn't the one that stole and that it was somebody else is on somebody else's uh, soul that did it, not his. Uh, interesting, interesting way to look at it. And um, it says, I wonder if I could be that thankful. And I, I see from reading this myself that I need to cultivate my own thankfulness. And some hopeful today says, if we would had eyes that recognize God's gifts, we would see that the blessings far outweigh the burdens. Take time and write down every gift today holds from sunrise to sunset. Yeah, I was just reading my devotions today and I was moved by those. And I thought that I would just come on and share them with you because um, uh, they're enlightening. You know, they just shed light on something that we need as followers of Christ, we need to improve on in our own lives in order um, to lessen the, some of these burdens that we carry because some of the burdens and some of the trials are worse because we're not thankful. So if we were, if we were to be more thankful even, even when we're in a trial or we're, uh, we have a burden, uh, it may lessen it a little bit and help us to get through it. Um, and that's about it. So um, I hope everybody's having a beautiful day in the Lord. We're heading towards the Memorial Day weekend. I hope you have something nice planned. Uh, right now it's 73 degrees. It's uh, 1030 in the morning and we're going to go over 80 today. Um, very nice day. I think I'm going to go to the beach and collect some shells. Yeah, I'm doing this um, little hobby now I have, and I collect shells, and I paint them, and I draw on them, and I put some motivation on it, or something nice and sweet, and something that if some, and I hide them uh, so that when somebody comes across and finds it, and they read something nice that speaks to them, hopefully it may uplift their spirits, and and um, and and they may feel God in that moment, and it, you know it, it may just. It may just help get them through the day. So, um, yeah, I enjoy doing that. And uh, I'm going to be go collecting some shells later today. So I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. And never forget it. Talk to you again soon. Shalom.